Good morning, it's seven o'clock, I'm just coming out for a quick morning run. We're in Malacca, Malaysia. Stephen is still sleeping. wandering over to it's called Kampung Morton which is apparently it's like um, a traditional melee well yeah a traditional melee village there's a um, there's a house there Villa Santosa but it's kind of like well look at those like bikes scooter things yeah they're cool um what was I saying? Oh yeah, like Villa Santosa, it's a real house, like people live there and the people who live there um, give you, people give you like a little tour and talk to you about melee, traditional melee culture and heritage and stuff so we're heading over there to see what that's all like. Also on our little walk I'm desperate, desperate, desperate for some fruit. I don't think, we haven't had, I had two mangoes that I brought from um, Kuala Lumpur to Martha with me, but I haven't found anywhere here where you can find, you want what, melon? Yeah, yeah we're, like, we're desperate for fruit, both of us. We haven't found any fruit anywhere in Malacca. Like it's just, I don't even know why, why there's like, no, I must just be looking in completely the wrong places. But cannot find, Fruit for sale anywhere, or oh, apart from that little stick you had the other night from the market. Yeah, yeah. chocolate. Yeah. Look at that place. You think that's a hotel? That's nice. So that glass on that side. Yeah. So the village is just down the river canal, whatever this thing is. We're gonna wander down it. It's nice. There's all uh, street art all along all of the houses or shops or whatever they are. It's a nice little walk. This is where we came on the uh, little boat cruise. We came along on the first day we got here and we saw like the monitor lizards underneath those trees there. I'm pretty sure that that's the village. Kampung Morton. I'm not sure what the deal is, whether you just kind of, I think you just sort of wander around it. It's just a traditional Malaysian melee village with traditional melee houses and I think it's now protected and maybe they're giving money to maintain it as it is or something. People live here, it's just like a normal little village. I wasn't making it up. This residential area has been gazetted under the Preservation and Conservation of Cultural Heritage Enactment, 1988. So it is protected. this little house. I think actually that this place might be Villa Sentosa, which yeah. I've read, oh yeah, the Malay Living Museum. Can't see anyone around, but we'll go and have a little look. 
yeah that place definitely you can go inside but there was no one around unfortunately when we were there i suppose it's just luck because it is actually someone's house from what i understand so it's just luck if there's somebody around or not that will kind of show you around from what i've heard online though quite a lot of people have said it's a really good thing and there's a little like old lady there it's really really nice <laughs> I think we're just going to head back into town now to be honest isn't this a nice view there's the house there the La it's so nice the palm trees around it oh look I think I sparked a little fruit well I can see bananas I don't want bananas though. I want something like juicy but that's hopeful that he has bananas hanging up oh yes I can see watermelon Oh yes, some yeah. fruit. What do you fancy? Dragon fruit. You want dragon fruit? We finally got some fruit. We paid well over the odds for it, but we don't care. Is it nice? It's so nice. <laughs> Good. Look what we found. Oh. Loads of fruit places now. We're at like a little local market. Should we get some more fruit for tomorrow? Look at this church that we found on the way back. Church of St. Francis Javier. When we were looking for food, we saw that. I think on the other side, there's part of um, part of the Malacca Fort. I'm going to go and have a look. Malacca World Heritage City. Yeah, archaeological research of the Fort of Malacca. Oh, there's like a picture of where it was. Oh, look. That's say it would have been, or it was, I should say. I think we're just going to head home. To be honest, I'm feeling really kind of weary and just like, ugh, today. I don't know why. I've got to sort things out for tomorrow. I've booked uh, a bus, but the buses only leave, well, they were either like the bus that I could find anyway to the place that we're going, only left at 9 a.m. or 8 p.m., or half 8 p.m with the a.m. buses that are all sold out for tomorrow so I had to get an 8 p.m. bus so it's an overnight bus and Stephen's quite happy about that we like a good overnight bus and a lot of people do say not to take overnight buses because they're a little bit dangerous but nothing has happened yet hopefully nothing will happen to us on an overnight bus but uh, like because the drivers fall asleep or people steal your bags and stuff or whatever or, yeah so I've booked us uh, a bus tomorrow night at 8. Well, obviously we've got to check out tomorrow at 12. So we've got like 8 hours to kill with our bags tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to do. It is many hours later, as you can tell by the darkness now. We're just coming out. Stephen's got his trackies on, look. Doesn't he look weird in his trackies? Because I've just been doing a bit of washing and he's got no shorts to wear. So he had to put his trackies on. We've just nipped out to come and get some food. We've just been back at the hotel for the last few hours doing some work and stuff. I'm all caught up with vlogs. Very pleased with myself. Yeah, I've got money. Look at him. He just looks so weird. You look really weird. Do what? She's on the phone. Oh, crouching. I, 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 I like, never did that, did I? I was supposed to be practicing every day. That was one of my goals, because they all sit, they can all squat down, like on their flat feet and I can't. I've organised our accommodation and everything for where we're going tomorrow, so that is good. Whilst I was doing my work, we've not got very good Wi-Fi up in our room, so I have to come and sit downstairs in reception. And whilst I was doing it, they, um, some of the people from the hotel came over. They're all so, so lovely. It's going on from what I was saying today about Malaysian people and how friendly and nice they've all been to us. They're so, so nice, the people at the hotel. They were recommended like places in Borneo to go. Was it Sabah? Sabah? S-A-B-A-H, I think. Sure. One of the women was saying. Oh, we saw that at the house yeah. thing, yeah. She was recommending there to go. So that has beautiful beaches. So one day we will get there, I think. Our hotel, we've ended up paying for the five nights that we've stayed here. I think we've paid something like 20. Did he hiss at you, that cat? Oh, doesn't like it. Not a friendly cat, that one. Um, something like £28 for five nights, which is crazy cheap because we've got one night free. 
that's really good the name of the hotel actually i will put a link down below if you're interested it is really budget and it's very basic um but it's called m international inn really good can't really complain apart from the wi-fi if it's a little bit crappy upstairs but other than that it's been brilliant and for 28 pounds five nights i mean what can you say really i'm gonna end it here we're back at home i'm gonna have a nice early night and then hopefully tomorrow get up early go for a run fly the drone do a little bit of work go back out with steven and do some photos and things before we have to check out at 12. that's kind of the plan for the morning we'll see if it happens i don't think we'll probably manage to get all of that stuff done that is what i'm gonna try and do and then we're not leaving till eight no clue what we're gonna do till eight o'clock with all our bags but we will figure something out but thanks for watching today i think it's probably a short one today wasn't it i don't know thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow uh, yes.